What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be doing a first shots for you. Today we're gonna to be shooting the Sig Sauer P322, and we're gonna figure out if it is as good as I hope it is. Now this is kind of the 365 full-size version of the 22 pistol, and I think that's pretty cool for a few reasons. One, because 22s are awesome to shoot, they're economic, and especially right now, not only the gun is affordable, but the ammo is affordable. That's great for a lot of people. We're in a recession right now, and this is gonna be a good way for you to go out and train those marksmanship skills without having to spend too much. And you actually get a lot for this. So when I picked this up, I got this for under $400. It came with three 20 round magazines, which is pretty awesome, because most 22s only come with 10 round magazines, and they usually come with one or two, whereas this came with three. They actually have a loading assist as well. That'll help if you have arthritic cans or anything like that. When I picked the gun up, it actually felt really good. It feels like kind of a SIG macro. It has a four inch barrel with a really easy to operate slide. It has adjustable uh, sights. It has not only that, but it has a dot mount underneath your rear sight if you wanna put a dot on it. Fiber optic front. It has a light rail if you wanna put a light on it and wanna use it as an impromptu uh, home defense gun. 20 rounds is 20 rounds. It has a good trigger and uh, it comes with a safety if you wanna use the safety. Most people uh, that buy a gun for the first time, they like a safety. Me, it doesn't matter as long as it's easy to use and this one actually is it's very small but it's very tactile and audible and you can hear and feel when that thing's on or off and I like that. It seems like a pretty awesome gun. It also comes with thread adapters, so if you wanna put a pressure on it, you can. And it comes with a different trigger if you want a curved trigger as well. I've never seen either one of those actually come with a firearm. It does come with a threaded barrel, but you can have it threaded or not. You can put the end cap on it and tighten it up with a half inch wrench, or you could put the uh, uh, suppressor adapter, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna take this out today and shoot it, see how it runs, with a little subsonic ammo. We'll go from there. Now, before we do that, I wanna mention my Twitter page. I've been trying to start Twitter. I know I'm like 10 years too late, but I'd really appreciate it if you guys would go down to the description, click the link, and bring it right to Honest Outlaw underscore, doing some exclusive content, all kinds of other stuff we can't do on other social media pages, because right now, they're censored the least, so I appreciate that. And I do wanna mention the sponsor of this video, LAS Concealment. LAS Concealment is an awesome holster brand that luckily enough, I've been using for a long time. This is actually one of my LAS Concealment holsters. This is for my Staccato C2 with an extra magazine. And not only does it hold it close to my body, but it's easy to conceal and it's super fast to draw making you look all cool. So if you want a sidecar holster, if you want a regular Pennix holster or any sort of holster that is gonna hold your gun well and be easy to draw and conceals well, LES Concealment can have that for you. All right, so we got some CCI Subsonic and we'll just see how that goes. I haven't shot a 22 in a while and I was literally anticipating some recoil that didn't happen. <laughs> Flinched like a motherfucker. I would say this is going well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're at the 50 yard line. This will be a little easier because I don't have to aim so high above the target. Woo! Yeah, that's kind of nice. Aiming at the target makes it easier for you to hit the target. Yeah. Uh, subsonic. 22 arcs so badly that when we were at 75, I would take a sight picture with my front sight and rear sight on the head box of the target, and then I would just raise my sights about a foot or so, and then I could arc them in. But you can't actually see what you're shooting at from that distance with the uh, iron sight. But from here, you obviously can. Now we're getting a few light strikes. I was gonna catch that one all cool, but now I look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Super accurate though. I mean, I have about half a half a, uh, a sight picture on that target because it's turned all the way sideways. And we're at about 45 yards from that target and it's still super easy to hit. Now, as you can see here, this is where, this is that round that didn't go off. This is a CCI 40 grain and they're going at about 975. So they are subsonic and that wasn't the issue. The issue was we had a primer strike and it didn't ignite it. 
22 ammo, 22 ammo is rim fire, not center fire. So it's kind of famous for that type of malfunction. So if you're shooting any 22, you can kind of expect that. Now these tabs make the round or make the magazines really easy to load. So you can kind of load in bunches, which is nice. Usually 22 magazines have only a 10 round capacity. So they actually get kind of tight toward the bottom, but you can get like 15, 20 of these in pretty easy with no issues on your fingers. And the loading tabs do help. They're not necessary, but they certainly help. Can't get that plate. <laughs> I was trying to get that plate. It's getting greedy. Iron sights on a 22 with some drop on a six inch plate is hard to hard to gauge. <sighs> Got it though. <laughs> this thing rocks. Got it. With firearms, <laughs> accuracy trumps everything. So if you can hit with a 22, it'll still work. Now it won't have any sort of the impact that a uh, nine millimeter, or especially a 5.56, or heaven forbid you get hit with a fucking 12 gauge buckshot in close range. But 22s definitely still are lethal. And if you get shots on target, as I said, shots on target. <laughs> I don't know if this is the funnest gun I've shot this year. It's either this or the Rossi Brawler. Okay, so we're gonna do a little self-defense shooting. So we got that A-zone target there with a very small head box. Normal people's heads are bigger than that. So on your make-believe beep, We'll see what we can do for headshots. I think that would work. What do you think? I think so. I wouldn't be delighted. What? I wouldn't be delighted about that. Yeah, you wouldn't be happy about getting hit with it. That's uh -uh. for sure. I mean, look at that headshot. Yikes. Well, this is the one I was printing originally. These are my Wilson Combat targets, by the way. So those are all the hits from the other one. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then over here we got one, two, three, four, five. So, man, I would I would say does this answer the age-old question of whether a 22 is worth it for self-defense? Well, you saw kind of the whole spectrum there. First off, it's a very anemic cartridge when it comes to a lot of self-defense cartridges, like even 380, especially nine millimeter. But you get into 45, 10 millimeter, definitely anemic. Can you hit your target with it though? For sure. Light rate coil, easy trigger, good sights, easy to make headshots in close range, and I think this would be a viable self-defense tool if you needed it to be. Would I recommend a larger caliber? Absolutely. If you're looking for a home defense gun, would I recommend a 12 gauge shotgun? Probably. Would I recommend an AR-15? Absolutely. Would I recommend this? Only if you absolutely had to. If this was your only gun, it would definitely still be a gun. As my wife talked about, if you weren't intending to use it and you just had to brandish the thing, it looks like a nine millimeter handgun. The second thing is it can be shot very well. It can be learned and trained on very cheap. So like you could buy a big pail and you could shoot this super well and you could have fun and you could have this your whole life. And if you ever needed to defend yourself, I think you probably could. Would it be ideal, you know, putting center mass shots down? Are you gonna drop somebody right away? No, you're not, but it's better than a sharp stick. And for 400 bucks, I think this is certainly one of the best 22s you can get. Comes with the thread adapter so you can suppress it. Comes with the optics mount. Comes with three 20 round magazines and good sights and a good trigger. And we had three malfunctions out of 200 rounds today. For a 22, 
that's not terrible. Now that's the biggest problem with a 22. Most people talk about the anemic cartridge, but I like reliability. I would rather have five that go off all the time than 20 that don't. And that's my issue with the 22 pistol as a self-defense weapon. Uh, will it get you every time? No, but it is an issue. And I like very reliable guns. In that case, I generally carry a Glock or an M&P. We will be doing a full thousand round review of this, so stay tuned. That's what we do here. We test guns for a thousand rounds, then we give you our full opinion. This is not my full opinion because I haven't vetted it with 800 more rounds of ammunition, but so far, it's a pretty good start. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support our local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.